Standing at only 5 foot 10, most of his opponents had the height and reach advantage over him. And yet somehow, Mike Tyson would become one of the most feared heavyweights of all time. So in this video, we're going to cover three ways that Tyson would get on the inside. One of the ways Tyson would quickly close the distance was with a back foot step. Now traditionally, boxers are taught to step forward with their front foot first and follow with the back foot, always keeping a balanced stance. But one of Tyson's techniques for closing the distance fast was to do the opposite. Tyson would step his back foot forward first, momentarily rendering him flat footed. But from this position, when he stepped his front foot forward, he was able to cover twice the distance of a normal step and this would completely surprise his opponents. From this angle, you can perfectly see Tyson using the back foot step to set up his opponent. Another thing that set Tyson apart was that at five foot 10, he was a master of measuring his opponent's range, no matter how tall they were. And what that allowed him to do was to anticipate attacks as he would step into that range. And that allowed him to set up counter punches. But some of his opponents were expecting those counter punches and would try to keep Tyson at range by quickly stepping back as they punched. So Tyson would need a way to get in closer to land those counter punches. And against those opponents, Tyson would use the slip step. Tyson would slip a jab, then quickly step in on his opponent, closing the distance in an instant. And sometimes even turning southpaw to close that distance faster. Now as simple as this move may look, it takes a lot of timing and setting up to actually pull it off, which is why to this day, it's very rare to see someone use this technique. And the right hand does most damage. There was a big right hand. Now speaking of timing, what I'm about to explain next is probably the most important technical aspect that sets up all the other techniques for success. It was Tyson's ability to put his opponents into a rhythm. While most other technical boxers will actually try to break an opponent's rhythm, trying to catch them off beat and never letting them get into their own flow, Tyson would actually focus on creating a rhythm for his opponents that he would be able to take advantage of. In this example, Tyson gets Donnie Long into a rhythm by fainting coming in. Once the rhythm is set, boom, he takes advantage of it and lands a devastating, unexpected left hook. In this example, Tyson easily sets a one-for-one -one rhythm against Burbick and uses it to plant his feet and land a right hand to the temple. This is a subtle technique that Tyson would use that his opponents wouldn't even be aware of. And it was this rhythm and timing that allowed Tyson to constantly set up his opponents. And it's possibly why we'll never see another Mike Tyson in the heavyweight division again. 